Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Michael of MOD's Catering Services, and as I promised you my chiffon cake recipe, I'm going to take you through the ingredients, the process, and even including how to line or prepare cake pans for baking. So please stay glued. We are going to need a cake pan, a baking paper, and of course we need margarine. We won't use the margarine to grease, but we'll secure our baking paper with our margarine in our cake pans. And we need our ingredients and of course our stand mix as well. We need our eggs, we need our vegetable oil, we need our flavor. I'm using butter and vanilla flavor, that's powdered. We need our baking powder, we need our sugar, milk and flour. It's just simple ingredients and I'm going to take you through the whole process of making this yummy chiffon cake. Thank you. So we're going to start by lining a square cake pan, it's a six inch square. So all we need to do now, we just open up our baking paper. You can use a food safe marker to mark out your baking paper once you place your cake pan on. So what I do is I leave a little bit of space around it and I use my knife. I just pass it around my baking paper and do same on the opposite side. When I'm done, I gently take the paper off. And to prevent the paper from peeling off, you have to turn it inside out and just gently position it at the base of your pan. So we now have our base. We are now going to work on the sides. So I bring out a paper. So now we are going to cover our sides. All we need is our baking paper. And we have to make sure the paper overlaps just like the ones we have here. So we just eye gauge the measurement and we are going to flip our baking paper. Then we just make sure we cut that out. You have to make sure you're getting a clean cut so that I can sit at the very base of your cake pan. We have a very first cut. I'm going to add one more. And we can just let that sit at the base of our cake pan and also secure it with our margarine. You can use butter as well. So when I'm done, I just take my brush with the margarine and I just mark some parts with it. I wouldn't want to introduce more grease or should I say fat or oil into our butter after it's done. I just stick it to our cake pan with the help of our margarine and make sure it's resting at the very base to prevent the butter from leaking and having access to your main cake pan so we have our first sheet i'm just going to add the next one When I'm done, I'll just change my glass because it has come in contact with margarine. One secret to whipping your eggs, we'll be whipping our eggs and adding in our sugar. One secret to whipping your egg is making sure your mixing bowl is free from any grease or oil. Your fix attachment is also free from any fix, um, oil, sorry, any oil or um, grease. And also your small bowl you'll be using for your eggs is also free from any grease fat or oil so i'll change my gloves then i'll just break my egg into a bowl then add it to our mixing bowl so we have our 
cake pan which is ready now we are going to proceed to making our cake batter so we need six eggs so i'm going to start by breaking them separately into our bowl to just fish out any bad ones you can break about 30 eggs and you realize the last one will just mess up your whole eggs and i'd like to prevent that so i'm just going to break them into a separate bowl before adding to a mixing bowl so i break them separately we need six eggs then we whip so we see the eggs foaming up then we can add in our sugar gradually we wouldn't add all the sugar at once we add them gradually we are for forming a meringue in doing so we are trying to create a meringue with our eggs and sugar when you are done we are going to sift our flour i normally sieve my flour four times i sieve or sift my flour four times before using for my cake any cake recipe except for pastries with my flour, I normally save them four times before using for my cake recipe. So we have our six eggs. Now let's just move on to using our machine. So we are going to fix this up. So let's start foaming up before we add in our sugar. So now our egg has been whipping for about just some few minutes now, about two minutes, and as you can see, it's coming up. So we are going to add in, we are going to measure our sugar first before adding in gradually. We need 150 grams of sugar. We put on a uh, digital, I love working with digital scale because you get the accurate measurement. So it's good to use digital scale whenever you are baking to get accurate measurement. So we are going to measure 150 grams of sugar. I'm just going to scoop off any excess we have here. Now we have our 150 grams of sugar. So I'm just going to increase the speed of our stand mixer and gradually add the sugar to it.
adding our flour at a very slow slow or low speed we don't want to over mix our cake butter you can even take it out of your machine and use your hands at this stage if you that if you want to So we are adding them in four batches. We have the first one in, we, let, we allow it to mix. We add in the second one, we allow that to mix as well. And then we proceed to adding in the third batch. Then later on, the last batch, then we add our vegetable oil, our milk, and our flavors. Cup of vegetable oil. We need our powdered flavors. So we have our vanilla and we have our milk flavor. And then we're going to stir this together. And scrape very well, then we pour our butter into our prepared pans. Then bake in our preheated oven. My oven has been on for about 10 minutes now.
our batter is ready, I'm going to bake it in our preheated oven. Then we bring it out and show you the outcome. So our oven is on, and as you can see, the temperature. So we're going to bake at 140 degrees for about 30 minutes, 25 minutes, or 35 minutes max. So I'll come back and check on it and see how far. So our cake just came out of the oven. It's ready. We are just going to take it out of our cake pans. Just gently wipe, take off our baking paper. Let me take a slice and show you how it looks like from the inside. And this is our cake. So we have a vanilla chiffon cake ready. We will sandwich it and add in some yummy filling sauce and also bring that out to you very soon.